afternoon. I pray that your Friday is going well, that the sun is shining as the clouds roll back. And I hope that as that sun shines, it doesn't only shine physically upon you, but that you know that God is shining down upon you because he loves you. Can I tell you something? Maybe you haven't heard this in a while, or maybe you have and just need to be reminded on this particular Friday. God loves you unconditionally. There's nothing you can do right now for him to love you more or for him to love you less. And so with that, I want to dig into something that I didn't get a chance to this past Sunday as we were in Jeremiah chapter 33. Verses 10 through 13 talk about to me three things that are very critical. At one point, Jerusalem was void of sound, meaning things had got so bad as a result of decisions they had made and as a result of the catastrophe that they caused because of their disobedience to following God, that it became without sound. It was void. Void sometimes can create despair, and despair can create destructive behaviors. And that's where Jerusalem was, and that's where the Israelites were living. But in that, God knew it. God said, you're going to have to go through what you have to go through in terms of captivity for 70 years. But he said, I'm going to give you a voice back. Can you imagine that for a moment? It's been void, it's been dry, and then God says, I'm going to give you your voice back. I'm standing here this Friday to tell somebody that even in the driest season of your life, that God wants to give you your voice back. He's got joy that he wants to hear come out of your lips. He's got praise that he wants to see come from your loins. He's got vocals that he wants you to exercise to show people just how good and awesome he is. How he stayed with you and me even in the valleys and even in the troublesome moments that we created. Not that other people created. We did the disastrous work, got in trouble, and God said, on the other side of it, I want you to know I'm giving you your voice back. Let me tell you, you can have joy in a storm. You can talk about that. You can talk about peace that flows like a river. But I'm here today to tell you that none of that matters if you don't understand you even got a voice to vocalize it because what Satan wants to do is shut us up and keep us quiet but God says in the voidest place I'm gonna give you your voice back I hope that encourages somebody this Friday that God has worked so that you can keep your voice but it, not only did he allow them to get the voice back he says in the remaining verses of that passage scriptures 1 through 13 I give you victory give you victory in the most driest place. The Negev was a dry place. I mentioned this a little bit Sunday, but it was so dry, rain was so minimal that no one would ever think that anything good would come from it, that you wouldn't be able to plant and grow anything, that you would never have any animals who would be able to gaze because they wouldn't have anything to drink and that they would dry, die from dehydration. And God said, in that very place, I'm giving you victory. Listen, there's no place that you or I have been that has been so bad that God can't produce a victory. There's no place that's so dry, that's so without resources that God can't provide because he is our source. There's no place or nothing that we have done that excludes us when God has decided through Jesus Christ to include us. So I'm here to encourage you today. You might be in a void place, but God wants to give you a voice and he's given a path to victory. So I pray that you seize it and that you begin to vocalize and walk in it. But I'm not done. Because with that being said, I want all of us to take part in something that will allow us to show the voice and the victory that God has given us here at the Tabernacle. Coming up in a couple of weeks, September 7th and 8th, there will be an opportunity on the 7th to serve in community cleanup, and then on the 8th to serve in our community outreach efforts to celebrate not only this community, but also celebrate our church. And so you can volunteer. We won't be in regular service that Sunday. There'll be things going on inside and outside. You'll hear more details about that this Sunday. But it's a wonderful opportunity for you to vocalize what God is doing right here and what many people would call a dry land and a dry area, that God is giving us a voice in victory. And it's also an opportunity to invite that person who may be skeptical about church, who doesn't believe in God. They can come and they don't even have to serve. They can, they could, but what they can really come and do is just be around us. So since there won't be service, all of us have the task of loving on people, getting to new, meet new people and encourage them right where they are. So rather than wait for Sunday morning, 
for them to come in. We're going to take Sunday morning to them. So be encouraged. Have a great weekend. And we look forward to seeing you this Sunday morning. God bless.